Hey, what's up everybody? Nola Deech here and I'm coming to you from New Orleans and I want to show you a tree. <laughs> I'll explain. Come check this out with me. This is Bayou St. John. I've been out here before. There's a rich history to this area. This has been here longer than New Orleans has been a city. But there's something not far from where I'm standing. A tree, a special tree over here that I want to show you. Now you might think, what is so special about a tree? Well, this isn't just any tree. This tree has survived Katrina and other hurricanes as well but it has been turned into something a little bit more special than just your normal tree. And here it is. Now from a distance, it looks like just a dead tree. But when you get up close, you can see there's some carvings in it. Let's take a look at this. It's a pelican carved into the side of the tree here. pretty awesome. We got some guitars up here. We got a violin or a fiddle. Some piano keys that go up the side here. And if you look up at the top, you can see there's birds carved into the top of the tree. That is incredible. And right on the side carved into the tree is the artist's name that did this, Marlon Miller. So the story behind this tree is it was just a regular tree just like these other trees lining Bayou St. John. But this particular tree survived Hurricane Katrina. The winds didn't damage the tree, the rain and the flooding didn't damage the tree. But in 2012, Hurricane Isaac struck and a bolt of lightning hit the tree and killed the tree. But the tree remained and during one of the Bayou Boogaloo festivals, they hired a chainsaw artist to come out here and carve up the tree a little bit, and that's what happened, and that's why the tree is all carved up. And it's pretty amazing that the tree is still here. It's not going anywhere, hopefully. And on this side here, you've got a Florida Lee. A gentleman with an eagle on top of his head. Looks like here, what used to be a snake, but his head has since been rotted out a little, a little bit. But apparently somebody left a candle here at the base of the tree. Oh, and a cigar. There's this piece of a cigar. I'm curious what this candle says. I don't know. I don't know the purpose behind that. Maybe somebody was doing some kind of a ritual or something. I couldn't read it. So the artist drew his inspiration from this area, specifically the bayou the snake, the birds in flight, the music, all of that is inspired by Bayou St. John or this whole area. And Bayou St. John was kind of the entryway to New Orleans like 300 years ago. And I don't know if this tree is that old, but it could be. And if it's that old, then this tree was here as long as New Orleans has been a city. This old oak tree, that's amazing.
that. Hurricane Katrina couldn't destroy it. Hurricane Isaac may have tried to kill it, but it's still there. And it's gorgeous. I mean, the carvings on that are unbelievable. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed a little land yap from this hoot at. Go pass a good time. Thank you.